Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Um, I pray that you guys are having a great week, a great day. That you guys enjoyed the last video. That you guys have been just enjoying all the things that are on the page. Um, so today I want to talk about testimonies. I know I touched on it a little bit um, in my last video, but um, as I said before, I think that testimonies are so 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 important and i think that they really not only bless you but they bless others hearing the story and so um i wrote down a couple of different things um so the, the definition of testimony that i found says it's the evidence or proof provided by the existence or appearance of something and it goes on to talk about personal testimony and how it's pretty much you just sharing your good news with someone else in your own experience of how it happened to you and that you're sharing where your life and where Jesus actions where God's actions have intersected and I thought that was really such a cool way to describe it because that's kind of pretty much what it is you're going through life you're dealing with things you're being stressed out you don't know what's going to happen or, or how you're going to get through whatever it is that you're dealing with and then you blink and then there God is and he's showing action because he's showing you that he's there for you and that he can provide for you and that he can give you whatever it is that you need so I thought that was a really really cool um definition and um it also talks about how um, our testimonies can help people who are in search of the truth because you know at the end of the day a testimony is kind of like it's sharing a story but it's also like giving information you know like if you go to a place and you're shopping and the food's half off or the food's cheaper than other places and you're like, hey yeah you know i was shopping at i was shopping at such and such and you know it was way cheaper there i think you should start shopping they go really yeah really you should i'm telling you start shopping there so you just gave information to somebody so now they're going to go there and oh the prices are really cheaper so i feel like a testimony is kind of like that like you don't know what to believe or what to expect until you hear what someone tells you that they've been through or what they've experienced and now you can look at it and go oh wow i never knew that or i never thought of it like that or i never knew that could happen well you know sharing your testimonies it's it's pretty much you you are sharing your life with somebody and you're also sharing god with somebody because they're able to see that if god did that in your life then they can do it in my life or they can do it in their life it's really no different the same thing god does for everyone else he can do for you you're no different you know no matter what it is that you do or don't do in your life that doesn't mean that god can't be with you and god can't bless you because he still will and so i've really really been wanting to share testimonies and not just me but for other people to share their testimonies because i think it's it's just important and I feel like it's a great way for us to not only share God, but for us to just come together as people because we've all been through so much. We've all experienced so much and sharing the testimonies. It just, I feel like it'll, it will connect us. It'll be that missing piece of, oh, wow, I didn't know that that happened to you. That happened to me too. So you never know if you don't never share the things that you've been through. So it was saying that not only do our testimonies show us coming to Christ, but it can also help us bring other people to christ when they see what you've been through and what you've experienced and how god has brought you through that so i just think that it's very 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 important and i don't know about you guys but i love sharing and i mean it's not always fun sharing the things that you've been through because some of the things you know it, it might make you a little upset or emotional um re-sharing the things that you've been through but the outcome of it the fact that you made it out of that the fact that god was with you and that he helped you that's the the part you know that matters the most because you went through it and it wasn't fun and it sucked and it hurt but you came out of it stronger you came out of it better and that thing that happened in the middle that 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 place where god met you and helped you survive that thing like that's the part that matters the most and that's the part that's going to affect people the most and so i know that there's plenty of you guys that have been through things that have experienced things that maybe you want to share some of you guys maybe don't want to share maybe you guys think that your story isn't important or it doesn't matter but i'm telling you every little thing matters every little thing you've been through matters it's important and it's necessary you know that thing that you've been through that you may hate the most about yourself it may be the healing that someone else needs it may be a story that someone else may need to hear to help them get through whatever it is that they're going through and so i really really just want to encourage you guys today to to share testimonies to to step out and share your stories the things that you've been through the things that you don't think that matter the things that you do think that matter and i really want you guys to reach out to me um you know whether it's on the youtube page or whether you guys um email me because i did um 
put my email up, but I'll put it up again, you know, at determined to praise, um, 22 at gmail.com. Um, I think that is just, is, is really important to share. And I would love, you know, to help you guys get your story out. If you want, like, I would love to record you guys and, and, and share your story. And if some of you guys are uncomfortable with it, you don't got to like share your face or your name or anything like that. You could just simply tell your story if that's what you want to do. But I think that it will be, it will be really great and really, really encouraging to the world to just be able to see people in different faces and of different places of the world, you know, um, and just be able to come together and, and share the things that they've been through. And so, um, I do kind of have, um, a little bit of testimony of my own that I want to share with you guys. Um, um, I mean, and some of you guys may know, some of you guys may not know, whatever, but, um, we've been in the apartment that, um, uh, my husband and I live in now, we've been here for about four years, but, um, before we moved here, we were, um, probably, we lived like literally five minutes away driving from where we used to live at, but, um, our landlord used to give us, um, a very, very hard time. Um, when I got pregnant with my son, because it was a one bedroom, she was trying to tell us that we couldn't live there. Um, you know, we needed to move and get a bigger place that we weren't allowed to stay there with a baby. So she gave us a really hard time and she tried to evict us. And so because of the eviction notice that, um, she, she put out there, um, different places were reaching out to us to kind of help us find a place since she was trying to evict us. And a lot of places thought that it was about money or anything like that. And we're like, no, we have the money. We're paying rent. Like, we're never behind on rent. We do this. We do that. She's simply trying to evict us because I'm pregnant. She's saying we can't stay here with the baby. So we were we were stressed and we were struggling because we were like, we don't got money saved. Like, how are we going to move? We don't know where to go. And every place we're calling, they want so much money because they want, like, you know, the month and a half plus the first month, plus this, and then you got to make this much money for you to even qualify. So it was just like crazy. We didn't know what was going to happen. And so um, when I finally did have Lamar, um, he had to stay in the NICU because, you know, all of the different things that happened at birth. And that's a, a story I'll get into another day. But um, with all the things that happened to him at birth, so he was in the NICU for two months. So we came home and we're like, man... Where are we going to bring this baby? She's saying we can't bring him here. How are we going to do this? We don't have money. Like, literally just stressing. Like, you have a whole baby, and you should be excited. And we couldn't even enjoy that blessing because we didn't know where we were going to go and what was going to happen. So, um, and I mean, God, he just works in the craziest ways. So, I remember uh, going to church one Sunday, and someone walked up to, to my husband and goes, God said three days. So, we're like... Okay, but mind you, in three days we go to court, and no one knew there wasn't anything we really talked with nobody about, so no one knew that we were getting ready to go to court. So he said, he said, God said three days. So we like, we go to court in three days. Like, what's about to happen? And, you know, as people, we try to predict what God is going to do, or we think it should go this way. And so at first, I kept thinking maybe the landlord wasn't going to show up, or maybe she's going to drop the case, or maybe it's going to be this, maybe it's going to be that. So we get there, and. Um, we see the landlord and, you know, they're like, do you guys want to just sit and talk about this situation and come up with an agreement? So I wasn't sure what she wanted to do, but we ended up sitting and talking and, you know, she's pretty much telling us how we're, we're good tenants and she doesn't want to evict us and blah, 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 blah. But pretty much what she ended up doing is allowing us to stay and telling us that we have, we can stay for a couple months until we figure out where we're going is what she says. So, you know, after we have them more, like I said, we were, we were still worrying because we're like, man, we got, we know we don't got a lot of time. How are we going to figure out where to go? What are we going to do? So we're steady looking up places and we can't find anything. So finally someone calls us from, I forgot what the place is called, but it's one of those places that help people find homes. And so she calls us in and she asks for my husband's pay stubs um, because I wasn't working at the time and all of his information. So pretty much what ended up happening is that as we're looking for places, and it's so crazy because literally all God be wanting us to do is sit still. And we can never do that because we're always focused about focused on the situation and the problem and how the problem is going to get fixed. We never sit patient enough to trust God and know that if he said he's going to do it, he will do it. And so I remember getting the call and she goes, um, I found a place. Um, you guys can come look at it. So we're like, all right, we're going to go look at the apartment. We're not really thinking much of it. We go, all right, let's go look. But you know, we already like, we don't have money. So how are we going to do this? How are we going to do that? So we go and we look at the place. And we go, 
oh wow this is nice like i mean it's upstairs but there's so much space this place is so nice and look at this and look at that and we're just we're all in love with the place we're so excited we're like yes i love it i love it so then the lady goes okay well um you guys can sign this paper here's your lease we've already paid for um the security deposit in the first month's rent so you guys can just move right in we're like what like because we did not expect that to happen we did not i did not think that they were going to pay for anything i just thought they were going to help us find a place and then the rest will be up to us because like i said we didn't have the money anyway but i thought that was extremely extremely crazy and i just felt so blessed you know and you know not just to find us a house but to pay for the security deposit and everything else that means we can move in right away that was amazing so we we got it just in time because we were able to bring lamar he was in the nicu for two months he came home um at like the end of july we were able to move in i think in june so like literally a few weeks before he got out the hospital we were able to move into our new place and get his room together and put his bed up and you know hook up his crib and everything but God just really shows up in the most mysterious ways in the ways that you least expect it. But if you lean on him and you trust him enough, he can literally do anything. Like, as I keep saying, nothing is impossible with God. Anything is possible. And so we, we're at the place now that I was just telling you about. We've been here for four years. And I mean, it's, it's time for us to go. So we'll eventually leave here. But the whole point is that he will provide for you, literally provide for you and give you everything that you need. Like, there is nothing he cannot do. There's nothing. So I don't know those of you who may be struggling with the place or struggling with finances or whatever the case may be. There's a God and he's there and he's and he can help you with anything. And it, sometimes it just doesn't make any sense. You know, sometimes I sit here and I go, it's just really crazy because, you know, he didn't even just do what I needed. He went above and beyond. He didn't just find a place, but he, he paid, he financed the place for us so that we could just move into it. Like there was nothing we needed to do. He literally did everything. All we had to do was pray and sit still and wait. Like that was literally it. And I feel like that's the hardest thing sometimes though, because we just want to know what's going to happen, how it's going to happen. I just need to know something. I just need to know something. And sometimes you just need to know that God is there and that God is God and that he can provide. And that right there is enough. And it's not always easy because it's hard and it's difficult and it's scary, especially when you're literally, we, we thought we were going to be kicked out and, and have nothing, you know, and you go from that to God giving you a whole place for you and not just a place for you but a place that's paid for already so all you have to do is step into it he can do anything you just got to trust and believe and have the faith that he can do it and i promise you i promise you he will do whatever it is that you need him to do and it's crazy because like i said he goes above and beyond he don't just do a little bit i know he's going to give you the whole shebang like the whole thing is what he's going to put place on your lap if you allow him to if you can be patient enough to trust him so like I said, I hope that that testimony helped somebody. I hope that it encouraged somebody. I hope that it gave you some strength and a little bit of faith to just hold on a little bit longer to your situation and know that God will help you and that you're not by yourself. You're not alone and that whatever it is that you need, God will give to you. So please, 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 those of you guys who, who want to share a testimony, please, please, please reach out because I would love to give you guys a voice and just give you guys a place to share whatever it is that you've been through. And even if you don't want me to like, posted and you don't want to be recorded if you just want to sit and talk about whatever it is that you've been through and just share your testimony with me personally we can do that as well like this this is not about um forcing anybody to do anything i just want to help people have a voice i know that there's so many of you guys that you know may not go to church or may not read your bible you may know god and love god and you know pray to god but maybe there's other things that you do do or don't do and maybe you feel like what you've been through isn't it important or maybe you feel like you put it on yourself what you went through and that you deserve what you experienced because of you know what you may or may not be doing and like i said i'm just here to let you guys know that no matter who you are no matter what you do or don't do no matter how many times you pray or read the bible go to church or whatever your situation is that god still loves you and god still is with you and god is still fighting for you that god is still bless you that you still have a testimony that what you went through you did not deserve to go through it it just happens sometimes life just isn't always on our side and i just want to encourage you guys that you have a testimony as well and that you can share it as well don't be afraid of what you've been through don't be afraid of what you're experiencing allow god to use your life as a testimony allow him to use you as a testimony like 
it's, life isn't always fair. Life isn't always fun. But the things we go through, the things we experience, I truly believe that we go through those things so that we can help others get through those things. Because how can we help someone get through something that we've never been through? But, you know, those tough things you've been through, those hard things you've been through, that's something for you to share to help someone else get through it. There's a place for you. There's a person for you to connect with. There's a story for you to share. So please don't be afraid of that. Don't be discouraged about that. Don't be embarrassed about the things that you've been through and the things that you're experiencing because those testimonies, those words, those stories, they're going to help someone else. They're going to bring someone else through. They're going to give someone else encouragement, give someone else strength. So please, please, please don't don't fear those. Don't walk away from it. Don't think mm, that's that one's not really that serious or that one's not. No, everything that you've been through is, is serious. Everything you've been through is important. Everything you've been through matters. So please share your testimonies, share your experiences, share everything, whether it's good or bad. Every little bit of it matters because your testimonies can maybe prevent someone from going a different route or going a different way. Like, look, I did it this way and it ain't work out, so maybe we should try this way. Or, you know, God pushed me this way, so this is the way you should go. Your very life, the very things that you've been through can stop someone from going the wrong way. There are so many things that I've been through and so many things that I've seen. But there's so many things I've seen other people go through. And I go, mm, I see, no, I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to go this way because I watched them do that and it went that way. And I mean, that's not true for everybody. Sometimes you can do the same thing someone else did and your experience may be better. And sometimes it won't be. But I do think that other people's lives are able to help us overcome situations and just sometimes take a better route. Like I've seen you go this way and it didn't look good. So I think I'm going to try it this way. You just really never know how much your story can impact someone else's life. So even like I said, the mistakes, the bad things, the good things, they all matter. They all come together for greater good. They all have a purpose. They all have a meaning. So share all of it. None of it is, you know, too little. None of it is too small. None of it is irrelevant. It all matters. It all, all, all matters. So, um, and I do have one more. Um, I have a Bible scripture that I wanted to share. Um, I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with um, the Samaritan woman story. Um, I don't even really know the whole story. I know Jesus met her by well and was talking to her. And um, I don't I don't know the full story. I'm not even going to say her a lot of you because I do not. I know that she, she did a lot of things in her life that she wasn't proud of. And I know God told her that she was forgiven. And she was happy. She was blessed. And she ran off to people you know there's a god and he loves me and he told me everything that i did so the bible scripture that i have it says many samaritans from that town believed in him because of the woman's testimony and what she kept saying was he told me everything that i did he told me everything i did and she was she was very really happy and i didn't read the bible story for that that was something i seen on the movie the bible no that was on the show the chosen which is very good it's on pure flicks but i seen it on that show and that um, Bible scripture is John four thirty nine. So as I said, the, the things that you've been through, the things that you can share, the things that you can attest to, those are the very things that can help someone else. Those things that you don't like about yourself, those things that you've been through that you're just too embarrassed to share, those very things that help bless someone else. So please, 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 I really pray that you guys reach out and want to share testimonies. You know, like I said, whether it's recorded, whether it's just me and you talk, talking personally, it does not matter. But it needs to be shared. You need to get things off your chest. And like I said, I'm always excited sharing my testimonies because I'm just grateful that the things God does for me and the things that he's done in my life. Things that I never thought that I would get through, that I would never thought I was going to make it through. And I'm here today and I've made it through. So it's possible for anybody. Doesn't matter who you are, what you've done. Like... God can do it in you. So let him do it in you. Let him use you as a tool and share your testimonies. So I pray that you guys enjoyed this message. I pray that you guys are having a great day, that you're having a great week, that you keep checking out the videos. Um, keep like, subscribe, and sharing. Please comment. You know, I want to hear what you guys have to say. You know, um, if you guys have any ideas, you know, anything that you want me to talk about specifically, please comment, please share. Um, have a great day. Have a have a very blessed day. And just please continue to check out the page. Um, I hope that you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.